Breaking 100 and Breaking 90 are very similar concepts. It's just about a little bit more skill in hitting the ball a little bit better, putting a little bit better, but basically the tactics are the same. Get the ball in play, get it up and around near the green, chip and putt, and be a bouse. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm not polyamorous, I only play right-handed, but I'm gonna play left-handed today as a beginner to show you how even you, yes you, because I'm not a left-hand player, can take your game and break 90, 100, or 80, depending on your goal. And all we wanna do is keep this in play and trust our slice is gonna come. There's nothing I have in the bag that can clear the water over there. So all I can do is keep it to the left here. I have a long run up there and maybe what I can do is leave myself something like another seven iron into the green and be around the green in three shots would be, for me as a beginner player, would be like an ultimate dream. Very difficult to get good shots in a row on a par five. I understand that. One hundred and forty five yards left. We're going to go with another seven iron, this time a full one, not a chip, because we chipped it down here to stay short of the water to leave ourselves this third shot. That's okay. We can pitch it on from there for our fourth shot. I've got a little 35 yard shot here. I'm not really sure how to hit it at all. So we're going to take our best guess and hopefully this stays on the green. I'm going to go a little left of the pin because we have a lot more space there. If I hit it at the pin too hard, it's going to go off the green again. If I go left, we can really hold the green with almost any distance beyond 35 yards. Oh, not like that though. That's exactly what I was worried about, was pulling it off the green. Let's hit one more just for practice. Nope. So this one's going to have to be something to work on. And that's why I often tell people not to leave themselves distances they don't like. Because I don't know how to hit a 35-yard shot as a beginner left-hander new player. I'd much rather have like a 75, 85-yard shot so I can give it a bit of whew, confidentiality. I don't practice that much and most of us don't have that much time to practice. But we have five or six shots we'd like to hit at any time. Two ten to the hole, seven iron, chip short of the water. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> 125 yards, we're gonna hit the seven iron and I think it's gonna be a perfect club, to get us right on the green. Wow, look at that. <laughs> on the green, baby. Oh, nearly a first birdie. <laughs> Boogie. Loom. I'd like to think that I've worked this driver out for a little pool fade, which is a beautiful shot on this hole. I, but I must remember to aim it rightish for my shot shape because I always end up in the left-hand side of the fairway which is not advantageous because then we're hitting kind of over water to that hole. I'd like to stick more to the right if possible, give myself a better angle into the, into the green. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Beautiful. I've got 200 yards left. Now I have to be very careful here. Let's say a full sandwich goes like 70 or 65 yards, maybe 70 yards. I want to leave this thing to about 75. So to make this go like 120, 130, I think the seven iron is perfect. And I have to catch a nice one, get it down there, more toward the right hand side of the fairway, so I can hit it like up the chute there into the green. So if I leave it a little short, I leave myself a short chip or putt. This is the second most difficult hole on the course. So, you know, we keep that in mind and that's because of the carry of the bunker and the water and everything. Let's hit a seven. Oh, that's a bit too far right. Uh, probably have to hit another seven into the green, but that's okay, we adapt. We're not within sandwich range, so we're gonna try to hit that seven iron again. Get it on ski. Okay, not bad, we're gonna take the 56 degree and we're gonna have to be nice and aggressive because it's sitting high up on the grass here. With this, we just wanna get it on the green. I mean, I have no 
real skill here because I'm not left-handed. So let's just make sure we get it on the green. Okay, so we're on in four on the second most difficult hole on the golf course. Okay, Matty Boom Booms, let's just go dead at the hole. You can't read this worth a damn today. Oh, not a bad one. Okay, we'll take our double on the second most difficult hole on the golf course. We're catching fire, so I picked up a few more clubs at the car. Okay, beautiful. That's a nice one. Really high, but let's go, man. I'm using the aero burner, but I got one with like some idiot has painted this. I don't know where I got this from. And this is 12 degrees of loft. So I'd like to start with high loft. We've got 220 yards left to the hole. I'm gonna hit a four hybrid, because if I hit it bad, it's gonna roll, and I'll have a shot in any way. And if I hit it good, I'll leave myself a beautiful, like, I don't know, maybe a 60, 70 yard sandy wedge in. Go, go, go. Okay, fake confidence is good, delusion is not good. Let's just go back to basics. The swing we know, the half swing. Come on, Matty. 150, four hybrid. Come on. Be the ball. Ah. Well, that's how you play golf in the fast lane. Okay, we've putted the ball up here with two putts. The fake confidence has worn off already. So we're gonna go with an eight iron from like 100 yards. I think this is going to be better. It's going to fly nice and high. Tacoma 101. Come on, boys. Great. We're just greenside. We've got our putt in four stroke nine hole. Difficult hole. They say pride comes before the fall, but Lincoln Park said I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. So what we can deduce from that is this putt doesn't matter. If we've fallen enough, and we keep our pride, we can keep falling and hopefully the putts will fall as well. Oh, not bad. Now on the internet you get a lot of pissing and moaning and luckily I'm playing left-handed so I can say stuff like this is just stop it, just stop it because some people will cry about not being able to hit Consistent shots and most people trying to break this and that can't hit consistent shots. Well, I can say fooey and pooey to that because You have shots that you can hit so hit those shots. I'm gonna play this hole seven iron only and maybe a sandwich around the greens But I mean if I can do this left-handed Can we all admit that you can do it too if you just stop bitching? Look, absolutely terrible shot, and I've just reached the fairway. See? A terrible shot. Watch, I'll make a bogey here. We've got 240 yards left. We're going to hit this to the end of the fairway with our seven. And now we have another seven iron in. I mean, come on, players. Bitch, it keep beating. <laughs> We're going to hit a final seven iron in here from about 110 yards. Look at that, <laughs> on the green. Come on, man, guys. Let's get with the program, boys. Look at this, gangbangers. I'm on the green. You can do this. Now, I'm going to hit this one a little bit to the right. I mean, I'm not reading the greens real good today, but if I can just get the distance control perfecto, we're going to walk out here with a nice little score ski. Now this is to show you how it's done as a beginner, as someone who doesn't have all the shots. Look there, I've hit horrific shots, but we're scoring because we're not getting into a negative death spiral and we're enjoying the good shots when they happen and we're putting like absolute machines. Matty, boom, boom, in the house. <laughs> we just keep going with this bad boy driver, going for the slicer. Come on, slicey. Perfecto. We are improving leaps and bounds as a left-hander because we're using strategy and then we're using clubs we know how to hit. So I'm getting that driver right. A driver is always a very valuable club if you work on it away from the course and then bring it to the course. Luckily, I'm able at my low swing speed to keep that ball in play. 
Now we have a tough situation here because I can get there in three shots. The only problem is that the layup is so difficult. So I'm not really that keen on, on trying to carry the water on the left there because there's a high chance I'll go in it. So I'm just going to chip it back in the fairway here and then chip it again to like a pitching wedge range or, or eight iron range to get on the green. So we hit an eight iron from like 270 just toward that path over there. And then from there, I'm going to hit another shot up to lay up to a distance I like into the green. With 212 yards left, we have a much easier option now of going over this water here with an eight iron, which I have a bit more confidentiality in than trying to get over the water from back there. So I'm going to try hit this eight iron from 212, try to leave myself like 110 in again and hit this eight iron on the green. So a driver eight iron three times and we could be on the green. Oh boy. Stop, stop. Don't go past 100. Oh no. Oh. From there we can maybe hit a pitching wedge. We got really lucky there. A lot of people may be asking, Matty Boom Boom, why are you playing left-handed, broski? Let's be real, Phil. I'm trying to show you how to play this game without needing the biggest skill level possible. Look at the mediocre shots I've been hitting. They are teeth and a time to probably a pitching wedge distance. We're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a whirl swirl. And if we get it on in four, we are way ahead of schedule here. And we've hit that way over the green. So now we're learning our distances. I should probably have more faith in my chipping. Uh, this is a bit of a difficult one to get right. Let's go Hasip Hoktikwa. I think I'm going to change to a 56 degree because I think this is a good this is a good practice to keep it low on the ground. But we have this cow grass here. If I were over here, it would be a much easier shot because there's more zoysia grass. As soon as you hit this cow grass stuff, it's like Velcro. And then you don't really know what's happening. So I'm reading the terrain. It's a little bit more higher level thinking from my right-handed days. Don't add loft, just chip. And I think that's gonna, whoa, that's really good. That's better than what I would do with a putt, I think. Come on, man, yeah. Come on. What the pair? What the pair? What the up the ass? So we're gonna hit a seven iron from 135 here. Hopefully it fades a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my sweet, my sweet baby genius. What a shot. Now we have a big right to left. You can see all these marks are from the, the gore, the big bulls, the Red Bull, the original Red Bull animal, because Red Bull was made in Thailand for the first time. And they've walked across this green right on my putting line. Maybe they'll be good luck for me. My first ever left-handed birdie. Look at that, hey? What a day, girl. Thank you, Gore. That was right on my line. Right where you put your hoof. Here we go. Up the hill ski. We're so happy that we got this driver working. And we've got Titleist Velocity golf balls. The third best left-handed golf balls on the market. Sad thing is we've only got about 150 yards, but I don't have anything that I feel confident hitting off a downhill lie from the rough over that water and landing at 150. I just don't have that confidence yet. It's a very difficult lie. We have to understand the difficulty of the shot. This is a difficult shot. So I'm just going to chip this one, try to get it to just maybe to 100 and then try to hit a nice full pitching wedge up there. Wow, look at that. At the 100 yard mark, perfect. 100 yards. I think we can make this with a pitching wedge. Just have to be a good striker. Well, I'll tell you what, that ball has gone down the path. We can't go, we can't use a 56 degree here. We're going to hit in the tree. So I'm going to have to try to bump a, an eight iron on there. Very difficult hole with that long carry over the water. So I have to find a new way or get a club that's going to carry that 150 yards. It's very difficult. So we'll take the eight iron here and try just bash it on there, somehow get on the green. Okay, that's on. And we're on in four shots, not a prop skis. Now look, we've, we've taken an adventure. We haven't 
gone exactly as to plan after that great drive. Somehow we ended up on the next hole and then had to pitch it back on. But let's stay in the game with a decent putt. We've got to go uphill and hit it firm. So let's make sure we get there for the tap in ski. Come on. Good distance control. Okay, that's what we like to see. Okay, Matty, come on. Let's tap this in. Let's bring it on home. Come on. Come on, man. And that's how we do it. That's how we break 90. That's how we break 100. If you like this video, we've got more in the left-hand series over here showing you how to use your game to be a bazooza.